Hey guys, currently in my crash pad right now, just getting ready for work. Uh, yeah, kind of packing, still a mess right now. But remember how I said I was on 80s yesterday and I still have five more days to go? Well, I just got assigned not the best trip ever. So the reason I say that is because I don't know what I'm going to expect. I don't know what to expect. I've never been to Missoula. But I'm also kind of excited because long layovers, 29 hours, I've never been. I hear good things about it. It's just I feel like there's nothing around there and it's totally out of my element. Always been in the city, not really a nature guy. So we'll see how it goes. But I do have a plan for uh, tomorrow's episode since we do have such a long time. I want to try something out for the next episode and completely do something different. We're going. No way! Yeah, we're trying to figure out why until 325 or something. 325? Wow, well, <laughs> we're delayed. I wasn't planning on getting that on film, but... So it seems there's a problem with ATC in Vegas, something like that. So now we're delayed about two hours, almost. Hmm, it's all part of the game, man. It's all part of the game. What? Yeah, until like 325, man. Right, I'm saying. <laughs> all right, let me show you something that I do when I'm a flight leader. When we have time during, I mean, before boarding. So typically when I get in the plane and there's, uh, say, maybe 20 minutes or so before boarding, I like to unwrap my meals. Like remove the unnecessary plastic because it just saves a lot of time when you're actually in the air and it's time to go serve your people. If I don't get to do it, it's all right because flight time to Las Vegas is about four hours and 53 minutes today. And that's a lot of time to be in the air, especially when you're flight leader and you only have about 20 people, like I do, even though you have meals. It's a lot of time to prep everything and just you know, get the plastic off, manifest, etc., etc. But again, it's just nice to be able to have it ready and I, for me, the flow is a lot better when I'm actually about to serve my first class passengers. Okay, so going back to what I said earlier, the narrative today is that we're delayed. Um, original departure time was 1.55. Now we're delayed 3.25, which is not terrible. We're probably going to make up some time once we're in the air. But it just sucks. The delays suck in general, but specifically today because we're going to Vegas it's a long ride like I said about five hours and you go over there and it's just one leg fine you're done but we have three legs today we're gonna go to Salt Lake right after and then go to Missoula and we were scheduled to land at about midnight which is it's okay now we're gonna be landing maybe 1 a.m. and the only reason I'm not really tweaking out about it is because we have such a long layover in Missoula, 29 hours. Normally, it would be a bigger issue because let's say you have a shorter layover, like let's say nine hours and a delay happens. It cuts into your rest and you're screwed for the next day and you're just tired. It just doesn't make sense. But in today's case, I'm not too worried about it. It's all right, we're gonna make up time and the layover's long enough that I can still uh, stay up late, work on some edits, and get adequate sleep, and then enjoy the rest of the day because we have such a long way over there. So, you ain't even tripping enough. Besides, delays mean more vlogging time, even though the rest of my day is just going to be all working. So, most of the content is going to be right here. So, enjoy it while you can. <laughs> we just got a release time, so we're probably just going to be delayed 15 minutes or so. So, we're going to be boarding in about 7 minutes, and then we're going to go on to start our day. So, I'll see you guys delay over around midnight. Well, your boy made it. I'm in Missoula. So I've stayed in multiple double trees during this career. And this, I don't know how to feel about this one. It's giving me this lodge type of vibe, which is pretty cool. I do like the high ceiling, the decor, it's pretty good. Show you real quick before I head out. I mean, go to sleep, head out, what the hell's gonna happen? Head out, blah, 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 blah. Missoula. Yo. It's not too shabby. Yeah, it definitely does remind me of a resort. I said that already, but anyway, 
let me talk to you about my day so far or what happened today it was actually a fairly easy day um surprisingly my whole first class like all three legs they're very nice first one jfk to las vegas typical needy but very kind very kind people and las vegas to salt lake salt lake to here again just incredibly kind people they were laughing they were joking around with me and it was fun it was a good time that's why i think i'm still not dead right now i i'm tired but i can keep going if that makes sense oh hold up let me high bed post frame thing so i can not so i can talk and just not hold the yo i'm tired so. <laughs> guys i have a lot of work to do but it's 12 36 here i have my watch set to new york time and it's almost 3 a.m over there which means my body is practically eating itself and i need to go to sleep i'm gonna wake up early uh probably around eight ish and then yeah get a good start to my day i probably go to the gym first and then come back edit some videos edit this video um and then just plan ahead for the vlog for tomorrow which is gonna be something different i'm excited for it so i hope you guys tune in for that tomorrow With that being said thank you so much for tuning in have a good morning good afternoon good night wherever you are in the world thank you for watching love you guys and don't forget keep failing forward my friends peace